if we do this, it means certain things. If we, for example, gospel our marriage, that means saying no to certain things in life. It means saying no to lustful passions for people who are not your spouse. Uh, If you're gonna gospel your physical appearance, it means saying no to a blizzard every day of the week. It, It means, if you're gonna gospel your singleness, it means saying no to Um, a really attractive woman wanting to take you to bed? You want to stay pure? You want power to do purity? Gospel, your singleness. It means saying no to a certain relationship. Sometimes it means saying no to a job. Sometimes it means quitting a job. What are you doing? You're narrowing your focus. What are you saying? You're saying like Paul, I decided, I resolved, I made up my mind. I'm not gonna know anything except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Therefore, the Christian life is life on a cross. And I'm begging you, don't look at the cross merely as a past event. Don't look at it as just a past place of substitution. It is a daily place of execution so that as you look at the cross every morning when you wake up, you're executing your pride, you're executing your desire to be cool, you're executing the need to be wanted and, and, and please, pleasing to other people. You're executing all of those things. You're gospeling your life. And I'm telling you, if you'll do it, you'll have power. You'll have power Uh, to do everything that God has called you to do. You're saying no to boasting in men, no to self-reliance, no to love of money and status, no to the praise of men, executing the need to be cool. You think about it as a church. For a church, if we're gonna gospel our church, if there ever comes a time when we have to decide between being relevant and cool in the sight of other people and faithful to the cross of Jesus Christ, then we choose the cross every time. That's what it means as a church. That's what it means for you as a family. That in a culture that is increasingly hostile to the things of Christianity, that you remain steadfastly faithful to the cross. If, if you're married this morning and you want to gospel your marriage, you know what the gospel does to your marriage? You wake up, maybe you don't wake up, you're going to bed, people are already nuanced, complicated, people are in a bad mood. And you have a temptation to serve yourself instead of serving your spouse. You're gonna gospel your marriage. Jesus didn't take care of his own needs. He served my needs. I'm gonna serve hers. Do you see how this works? The gospel is for everything. It's for all of your life. And the reason that God made the gospel for all of your life is so that living the gospel, applying the gospel to your life, you're gonna point people back to the glory of God so that people see your life, they see your finances, they see your marriage, they see your security, they see how you suffer, they see how you face fears, and they say, how do they do that? Well, they're gospeling their life. Well, therefore, they're gonna give glory to God. That's what Jesus said, Sermon on the Mount. Uh, Shine your light before men so that they'll see your good deeds and Praise your Father in heaven. That, that is the Christian life. The Christian life is life on a cross.